Welcome to Carlin Country. This is Justin Meldez. And I'm Chelsea Johnson. So have you heard about the new changes coming to our school because of the referendum? Yeah, we're getting a new parking lot, a new gym floor, and a new locker setup, just to name a few. Let's go over our first show for more details. Hi, I'm Brady Anderson, interviewing Mrs. Mansky on the referendum. How will the referendum help the school? We will see, I think, a big change in our school. Uh, you know, we have a wonderful facility, but it has not been updated for, for many, many years. So I think it, after all of the renovations are done, it will, it will be a good environment to do our work, and, and we'll really see and feel the improvements that were made in the school as, as uh, we get here, whether it's the windows or the parking lot or the gym floor or even the whole infrastructure of um, the ventilation system. So, How long is the project going to take? It will take two years to complete. Um, the f initial year, we maybe won't see or feel it as much as the second year. The first year, the gym floor is going to be replaced, and then they're also building the building where the boilers will be taken off the roof and, and put into a, a different area. So those are the main areas that they'll be working on. And we'll see some of that construction on the north side of the building starting in April, even, as they um, start to take out um, some of the asphalt and the driving by that propane tank in the back. And so there'll, there'll be quite a bit of construction in that area. And then as soon as school is out, then they'll start to work on the gym floor. And then they'll also be doing some work out on the athletic field. So the second year, though, is when they really work at the whole infrastructure and, and putting in the boilers. And of course, the parking lot at that point in time will be redone. So next year, we probably won't have much use of the building during the summertime. What is the most important improvement being made to the school? I think the most important improvement is to be able to have a facility that will allow our students to do their best work here in a comfortable environment, plus having all of the, the you know, the updated um, uh, technology types of, of things that, that, that we need to have in, in order to, to be competitive and to keep you kids up and what you need to be able to learn and do here, and then have that, that safe, comfortable environment to work in. What changes are going to occur with the referendum in the school? Probably one of the ones that kids will really see and like the most, too, is that kind of some changes in lockers. We're, we're looking at um, really doing our locker system differently up in the 7th and 8th grade area, kind of getting rid of that locker bank that's up there and putting them um, in the hallways. And also we'll be doing some revamping in the senior high locker area, too, that should give people more room and, and more of a, uh, a, a better feel for flow. So I, I think that they'll certainly see that. And and when we uh, work with the boiler systems and the ventilation, I'm hoping that the environment is, is, becomes better for kids. And I think that they'll see that, too. They don't have to bundle up so much in the, um, in the wintertime wearing all of the different layers of, of clothes. So we're ho um, hoping to have just that better temperature environment that, that will happen as we get the boilers replaced. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, uh, certainly we appreciate the, the support of the community in passing this referendum. It is important to us, not only for our school, but all of the schools in our, our district, too. So we just want to continue to tell the, the community thank you very much. Yeah, well, thanks for, the, thanks for the time. This is Brady Anderson signing off for Cardinal Country. Too bad we're graduating this year and won't get to enjoy the new changes. Speaking of graduating, our next story is about preparing for college. Hi, I'm Derek Erkin, interviewing Mr. Gertis for College Preparations. Um, what are some of the things, what are some things to look for when selecting a college? Sure. For, uh, for most students, there are, there are lots of variables that, that kids will look at uh, in terms of selection of a college after their high school years. Um, I would probably say the main focus for most students when they're looking at a college is what exactly they're going to offer for a major. So, for example, a student might be interested in accounting and they maybe are interested in being uh, going pre-dentistry, for example, and just mm -hmm. picking
speaking to at random. So one of the first selections for kids is they want to look at a school that would have possible majors uh, or programs of interest that they would want to study or possibly learn to study after their high school years. So they have a major that they're interested in. Uh, number two is proximity. And what I mean by that, some students like to stay close to home in southwest Minnesota. Um, other students maybe after their experience here are looking to, to branch out a little bit um, in terms of where they want to go to school in outside of southwest Minnesota. So for, for some students, proximity, close, closeness to home or being far away from home is is a consideration. Uh, probably after that, Derek, the third option might be the size of the school. Some students might be interested in, in going to a large place, large school or university um, after having maybe a uh, an experience of knowing most people and most most classmates here at, at Fairmont High School and they really want to branch out and and go somewhere where where people don't know them and and uh, they have to start fresh so to speak and again for other students um, they may want to have a select a school that would have a similar size or maybe a little bit larger than what they've experienced here at Fairmont High School where they like knowing everyone and like knowing their professors and like knowing everyone that lives in their their dorm room or dorm hall for example example. Um, so class size and school size would probably be the third factor. And last but not least, I think this is very true for a lot of students and families, especially in this day and age, uh, where they can get the best financial aid package. So to select a school that they can get the best bargain or best bang for their buck, um, where they can get a quality education at a very reasonable price. So there are more factors than that, but I would say generally speaking, those would be the maybe the four major ones that a lot of students and families consider in their uh, college selection. Um, so what are your views of this year's senior class? I think overall, um, this, sen this year's senior class ha has really done an outstanding job of their four years of high school, uh, both academically. I think they're, as a group, they, they're a very academically motivated class. Um, they're a high achieving class academically. And I, I also am, am very respectful of the fact that how many activities this group of seniors have participated in during their high school years, not only athletically, but in fine arts, knowledgeable, and uh, all other aspects of of um, their Fairmont High School experience. And I'm sitting talking to another senior <laughs> right here that's very involved in the media. So this class in general has done an outstanding job of not only their leadership, but also their participation in many, many activities that we offer here at Fairmont High School. Um, what are some of the things, or what are some things students can do to prepare for college? Yep, absolutely. I think the biggest, well, there's there are several, but maybe the biggest factor in terms of academic college preparation is to take rigorous classes, to take div uh, to take difficult classes. So, you know, specifically all the honors level classes that we offer here at Fairmont High School, um, if students have the ability. And, and can feel like their teachers and their parents and, and themselves can ha handle the course load to take as many higher level or honors classes that we have available in the building. Secondly, we kind of talked about that already, to be active in school, um, to, you know, to, to be in fine arts, to be in athletics, to be in other activities, um, to, to really feel connected to the, the high school in general. Um, right behind that, to you know, to do some volunteering or to be active in their church or another organization out in the community, um, sure helps a young a young person as they're going through their high school years build their resume, uh, both academically and in activities and in the community. So when they're they're filling out their college applications during the fall of their senior year, they they have a resume built up. And when a college admission officer takes a look at that application, they're going to look at it and say, "Yep, this is a student from Fairmont High School that we absolutely want to get on our campus and and be an incoming college freshman for us." Hi, I'm Derek Erkin, interviewing Mrs. Schwieger on card on preparation for college. What are some of the things to remember when looking for a college? Um, I think the most important thing when looking for a college is to find a college that's just a really good match for, for who you are. Um, some things to keep in mind are what college majors you might be considering, uh, what your interests might be. Um, a lot of students also want to take into account the size of the school, um, how close to home it's going to be. Just finding a, a good mix for, for, for who you are. 
are your, um, what are your views on this year's senior class? Well, this has been a fun senior class to work with. Um, it's nice that this is my second year here at Fairmont, so I know a little bit better about how the college and, and post-secondary process works for, for our students at Fairmont Junior Senior High School. Um, the students have been um, on time with their applications and, and scholarship information, and, and they have a lot of exciting events coming up. So I look forward to working with them for the next couple months.